Since the beginning of television, there have been countless episodes of shows that have been banned or censored for various reasons, and today we're going to cover 51 of those that are found in an iceberg posted by Reddit user Money05Mayhem. Let's investigate. If you enjoy internet mysteries and generally disturbing content, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. I also have a Patreon and a PayPal, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, feel free to check those out, links will be in the description. This video will contain vague discussions of topics that some might find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Fear Factor was an American game show where contestants would perform a variety of stunts, from being surrounded by snakes and scorpions to being submerged in water in a car, with hopes of winning $50,000. The show was cancelled in 2012 due to an episode titled Hee Haw Hee Haw that included a challenge where two of the contestants drank certain fluids that came from a donkey. The episode was scheduled for broadcast on the 30th of January 2012, though it didn't ever air in America. NBC pulled it just days before, presumably due to poor public reception after the synopsis was released. It was eventually broadcast in Denmark, which had its own Fear Factor spin-off, so you can actually find the clip online if you really want. The women who did the challenge ended up losing, so it was all for nothing. But bizarrely, when interviewed later, they apparently said they'd do it again for free. In season 3 of Spongebob Squarepants, there was an episode titled Midlife Crustacean that centred around Mr. Krabs having a midlife crisis. He has to go with Spongebob and Patrick on a night out to be cheered up, but he's just not feeling it. That is until Patrick suggests breaking into a woman's house to steal her underwear. Pretty gross already for a kid's show, but in a shocking twist, it turns out the woman's underwear they stole belonged to Mr. Krabs' mother. An episode of Peppa Pig that involved the family befriending a spider was banned in Australia after concerns that it would teach children not to be scared of dangerous spiders. Well, it was actually just a concern, as while they might have had a point, only one viewer ever actually complained. Electric Soldier Porygon was an episode of Pokemon that was originally shown in Japan in December 1997, in an incident that has since become known as Pokemon Shock, nearly 700 children suffered seizures while watching due to the intense strobing effect in a couple of the scenes. Thankfully, no one died, and some of the children recovered minutes later, but others were diagnosed with epilepsy. The incident wasn't good for Pokemon and Nintendo, though, as not only did they receive backlash, but stock values were negatively affected. This is another episode of Spongebob in which the Krusty Krab gets put on lockdown because it's suspected that everyone in there is infected with the disease, clam flu. Insignificant behaviours like Mrs Puff yawning and Squidward scratching his arm are mistaken for symptoms of the flu, and so one by one, each character is locked in the freezer. It eventually turns out that no one had clam flu, but everyone has a different disease, and Mr Krabs has a combination of them all, leading to an even more dramatic quarantine. The episode was produced in 2019 and scheduled to be released in early 2020, but was delayed, likely because of COVID. When You Wish Upon a Weinstein is an episode of Family Guy that was originally rejected by Fox, then later allowed to air after the removal of some scenes that could have been seen as anti-Semitic. The full uncut episode was eventually released, and the plot involved Peter wishing for a, quote, Jewish money guy to help him solve his money problems. Then after Max Weinstein appears, Peter decides to convert to Judaism.
In season two of Dexter's Laboratory, an animated series that ran from 1996 to 2003, there was an episode titled Rude Removal that was rejected and banned by Cartoon Network because the characters were swearing, though it was censored. The first episode of the ninth season of The Simpsons focused on Homer's car being clamped outside the World Trade Center after his friend Barney loses it while driving himself home. Homer has 72 hours to pick it up before it gets crushed, but when he gets there, he needs to use the toilet after waiting hours and ends up missing the officer. He then proceeds to damage his car, attempting to remove the clamp, and overall has his second bad experience in New York, while the rest of his family had a great time. The episode was mostly well received, but due to the focus on the World Trade Center, it was taken off air after 9-11 until sometime in 2006. Elephant Issues was the title of an episode of the animated kids show Tiny Toon Adventures that featured a scene where one of the characters was peer pressuring two others into drinking a beer with him and they end up getting drunk and driving off a cliff. As a result, it was banned for 22 years until 2013, though during that time it was included in the Volume 3 Crazy Crew Rescues DVD set. This refers to an episode of South Park that was banned after uproar from Middle Eastern terrorism groups and even death threats due to the depiction of Prophet Muhammad. The point of the episode was basically to make fun of religion, and after the backlash, the creators were told they could focus on other religions, just not Islam, so they produced a new episode that obviously still featured Muhammad, but a black box with the word censored covered the character. This was not shown in some countries, including Sweden and Australia, and Comedy Central avoided repeats, but the uncensored version was leaked online in 2014. The Puerto Rican Day, a 1998 episode of Seinfeld, was banned for a few years because of a scene where a Puerto Rican flag was accidentally set on fire and one of the characters was stepping on it to put it out. Some protesters felt that it was inappropriate for the flag to be used as a stage prop, and despite the cast and crew disagreeing, it wasn't shown as a rerun and was soon withdrawn from syndication until 2002. This is another banned Pokemon episode in which a male character dresses up in a bikini with certain inflatable body parts and taunts another character. The scene goes on for about 40 seconds and was totally removed in the English dub, leaving that section jumpy and disjointed. That only aired in the USA once though, in 2000, and was never shown elsewhere. Episode 847 of Sesame Street was first broadcast in February 1976 and quickly received a large number of complaints from parents whose children were so terrified of the Wicked Witch of the West that they were screaming and crying in front of their TV screens. This sparked more test screenings of the episode and although most of the children weren't as scared as expected and some were simply fascinated by her, the children's television workshop decided not to show it to the public again. The X-Files is a sci-fi drama TV series, though an episode titled Home, released in 1996, relied on human antagonists rather than a supernatural one. It centers around three inbred brothers, one of whom is also the father of the other two, who murder people, bury deformed babies alive, and keep their mother, a quadruple amputee, under a bed. The episode wasn't repeated for three years until Fox finally decided to do so and use the controversy surrounding the episode to promote it. Earshot was the title of a Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode that was set to air in April 1999, however it was pushed back till September because it centred around Buffy gaining the ability to hear everyone's thoughts, and while in a school cafeteria, she heard one of the students' thoughts, this time tomorrow I'll kill you all. 
On the 20th of April, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold murdered 12 students and one teacher before taking their own lives in what is known as the Columbine High School Massacre. And so the episode was postponed due to the similarities between it and the event that occurred just a week prior. The Proud Family is an animated Disney show that ran for 15 years before its revival earlier this year. The 10th episode of the original series was initially made unavailable for digital purchasing due to copyright issues surrounding the use of the song Independent Woman. It was resolved by March 2022, but has still never been released on Disney+. The Disney Channel decided not to repeat an episode of Boy Meets World titled Promises Promises in which the characters are discussing and nearly end up getting some action after prom. Though a series of mishaps prevents them, including Topanga accidentally poking her eyes and Corey's jacket getting caught over his head. This was one of three episodes that were only shown on the channel once due to adult themes and underage drinking. The Ren and Stimpy Show was a Nickelodeon series that aired from 1991 to 1995. One episode in season 2 was banned because it showed Ren beating up another character, as well as tobacco references and issues involving the production schedule. It was eventually aired in the adult revival spin-off Ren and Stimpy's All New Adult Party cartoon. Gargoyles was an animated action-adventure series that focused on gargoyles who came to life at night. Deadly Force was an episode in Season 1 that was themed around gun safety and involved one of the gargoyles accidentally shooting a human character with her gun. After she's shown lying on the floor covered in blood with a bullet in her stomach, she survives, though only just, and is badly wounded. It wasn't broadcast again for a while and eventually was edited so only her face can be seen. Comedians was an episode of Beavis and Butthead in which they burned down a comedy club at the end. The scene was edited, then later removed after it purportedly inspired a five-year-old boy to burn down his trailer home in 1993, killing his two-year-old sister who was asleep in the next room. His mother, who blamed the show, said she took his bedroom door off its hinges after catching him playing with matches prior to the incident. Though it's not clear whether he really was encouraged by the episode, as their neighbours claimed that the family didn't even have cable TV and so wouldn't have been able to watch it. In 2019, a documentary titled Leaving Neverland was released, which detailed allegations of abuse against Michael Jackson. This resulted in an episode of The Simpsons where he voiced a character being pulled from circulation, with Al Jean, who wrote the episode, saying he believed Michael had used the show to groom young boys. He had written a song which he and Bart sang to Lisa on her birthday, and it included the line, And your first kiss from a boy. This was an episode of Friends that was dropped from daytime schedules in the UK due to it mentioning adult content, as two of the characters accidentally get a free adult channel on TV. It kinda makes sense because of the 9pm watershed, but honestly I've seen worse on EastEnders, so the criteria is a bit inconsistent. The Encounter was an episode of The Twilight Zone that received many complaints due to the use of racial slurs and hate speech and because the plot included a rumour that has since been proven false that Japanese Americans played a part in the attack on Pearl Harbor. It wasn't repeated on TV for many years until 2016 when it was included in a marathon of the show, though it can be found on DVD and streaming sites. Five episodes of Mr. Rogers' Neighbourhood were broadcast in 1983 to teach children about nuclear warfare and prepare them for the possible escalation of the Cold War. One of them included a puppet character building a bomb after becoming convinced that another character was planning an attack on the town. These episodes were pulled from syndication and two of them appeared on YouTube in 2017 but were swiftly removed and have never reappeared.
A 1970 episode of the police drama Hawaii Five-0 was only ever aired once, purportedly due to a lawsuit that was filed over the plot that centred around a character practising autoerotic asphyxiation as a form of yoga. His girlfriend is later found dead after they argued, and he is initially accused of hanging her, though it turns out a neighbour strangled her after she turned him down. Rumour has it that someone somewhere in America died after watching it and trying the yoga technique, and their parents sued CBS, resulting in the banning of the episode. You might be thinking that sounds a very vague story, and that might be because it maybe never happened. There doesn't appear to be any documentation of the death or the lawsuit, and while Snopes acknowledged it as a possibility, they weren't able to confirm it, so rated the claim unproven. Similar to the Buffy the Vampire episode mentioned in Tier 3, an episode of Hannibal was pulled due to a school shooting, this time the Sandy Hook Massacre. While it had nothing to do with school shootings, it focused on a woman who kidnapped and brainwashed kids, hoping to get them to murder their families, and the creator of the show felt that because it involved kids, guns and death, that it would be too insensitive to air it just months after the massacre. You Can't Do That on Television was a Nickelodeon sketch show that ran until 1990. Each episode had a specific theme that was relevant to the popular culture at the time, usually mocking the topics, but one went a bit too far for making harsh jokes about kids being adopted. One of the characters also said, damn it, which resulted in it being banned in America after being shown twice. It continued to air in Canada, though damn it was bleeped out. Another episode of Dexter's Laboratory here, this one was banned in America, Canada and the UK because of one of the characters that was a parody of the Marvel character, Silver Surfer. Not only were problems caused by them not gaining Marvel's permission, but the character was also controversial due to its stereotypical portrayal of gay men. In the first season of the Nickelodeon animated show Rocco's Modern Life, an episode titled Leapfrogs was banned in America after two airings due to adult humour and innuendos that were considered inappropriate for kids, though it's still available now on DVD and streaming sites. Flying Dupes was an episode of Tailspin that was permanently banned due to terrorist themes, the plot involved a character getting tricked into delivering a package that contained a bomb planted by munitions manufacturers in an attempt to start a war. It was accidentally shown again on Toon Disney in 1999, I have no idea how that happened there. Postcards from Buster was a spin-off of the animated show Arthur that I somehow until now never knew existed. A 2005 episode was banned in America because it featured a lesbian couple. Yeah, that's literally the only reason. It was only broadcast once and has never been released on any home media. An anonymous user uploaded it to Kim Cartoon a few years ago, but prior to that, only a single clip existed on YouTube. An episode of Cow and Chicken was never repeated after it initially aired in 1998 because it featured adult humour and appeared to negatively portray lesbians. It showed a group of female bikers, who were at one point mistaken for men, breaking into a house and nibbling on the carpet, and was soon replaced with a different instalment. Mass Transit Trouble, an episode of The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, was banned twice, the first time after the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995, which killed at least 168 people and injured more than 680 others, and the second time after 9-11. The episode showed Sonic attempting to destroy bombs that had been left around the city, and there's also a call about a plane crashing, so it was probably seen as a bit too on the nose after the aforementioned events.
I Love Lucy was a sitcom that began in 1951 and ran till 1957. I couldn't find that much info on this specific episode, but it apparently involves Lucy and Ricky visiting his family in Cuba and Lucy trying and failing to make a good impression. It was banned due to the tense relationship between America and Cuba, but is now back in syndication. Partial Terms of Endearment is an episode of Family Guy in which Lois decides to be a surrogate for her old friend Naomi and her husband. They both end up dying in a car crash and Peter suggests Lois gets an abortion until they see protesters outside the clinic and Peter does a 180 and tries to dissuade Lois. It appears they decided against it until right before the credits where Peter suddenly says to the camera that they went through with it. It was banned in America because of the controversy surrounding the topic, though unless I've developed a false memory, I'm pretty sure I remember the episode so I'm guessing it was still shown in the UK. Here we have another entry that was banned due to the subject of abortion. Maud's Dilemma, from the show Maud, was a two-parter that told the story of the main character getting pregnant at 47 and struggling to decide whether or not to keep the baby. It wasn't actually banned everywhere in America, but after several thousand complaint letters, numerous networks refused to repeat it. An episode from the third season of the comedy series Married with Children wasn't shown in America until 12 years after it was originally broadcast elsewhere due to the taboo topic and a few lines in particular that were removed when it finally aired in 2002. The plot consisted of a married couple visiting an inn to have relations in a different setting at the suggestion of their friends. While there, they discover a tape of their friends that had been secretly recorded, and after they do the deed themselves, they end up being filmed too, and both couples file a lawsuit over violation of privacy. The BBC decided against airing four episodes of Star Trek between 1969 and 1994 and heavily censored others. It had a bit of a reputation for cracking down on science fiction shows, though whether or not banning all four episodes was justifiable is debatable. In one, Captain Kirk comes across a society where all the adults have died of an unknown disease, leaving behind all the children. Another featured one of the first interracial kisses on TV, but was officially banned due to violence. The third shows characters being tortured in an asylum and a risque exotic dance. The final one doesn't feature blood and guts, but the implications are disturbing and one of the character's injuries are described in detail. Star Trek fans petitioned for the BBC to show these episodes and they refused multiple times, stating, quote, they all dealt most unpleasantly with the already unpleasant subjects of madness, torture, sadism and disease. They were finally broadcast over 20 years after American viewers had seen them. See Me, Feel Me, Know Me was a 2004 episode of the Powerpuff Girls in which a gnome claims he can rid the world of evil in exchange for the girls' powers. They agree, but when he turns out to be evil himself, they regain their powers and travel to his headquarters to confront him. Cartoon Network decided to ban the installment, bizarrely claiming that the metal beams in the destroyed buildings looked like crosses and one of the hippies looked like Jesus. There was also a scene that featured strobing effects that may have contributed to the decision. A Buzz Lightyear of Star Command episode released in October 2000 was soon withdrawn from syndication because it centred around a character becoming addicted to phasing through energy. It starts to negatively impact her life and eventually her father has to get her to stop. This is another episode that was banned due to the resemblance to 9-11. It was from the second season of 101 Dalmatians, the series, and showed Spot flying a plane around a tower and crashing it into a windmill, causing a big cloud of flour. The 
The Legend of Dratini was a Pokemon episode that was never aired outside of Asia, where it was first broadcast in 1997, though the Japanese version can be found on YouTube with English subtitles. The only controversial part seems to be a short scene where Ash was held at gunpoint. I'm not sure why they couldn't just edit it out. Yet another episode banned due to 9-11, Battle Protocol from Transformers Robots in Disguise was released the day before the attacks and featured collapsing buildings in New York. It was later edited and re-aired. Mini Takes Care of Pluto is a cartoon short from Mickey Mouse Works that only ever aired in America once because of complaints about frightening moments, such as the presence of poison on Pluto's dog bowl, Pluto being buried alive by Minnie, Minnie trying to kill Pluto with a mace, and Pluto going to hell. I Rue the Day is an episode of iCarly, but I couldn't really find any information on it being banned beyond a comment on TVTropes.org that claimed it was temporarily banned from Nickelodeon and Teen Nick when Sony was hacked in 2014, then re-aired the following year. Inside Job is the second banned episode of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command to appear on this iceberg. The decision to not repeat it was made after 9-11 due to the plot focusing on extremists trying to assassinate the ambassador of Gargantua when he announced his intention to join the Galactic Alliance. Super Best Friends is another episode of South Park that was basically banned for the same reason as episode 201 from Tier 2, the depiction of Muhammad. It also features Blaintology, an obvious reference to Scientology, which the boys are persuaded to go recruit for by David Blaine, before Jesus shows up to stop him, and later Buddha, Moses, and other characters. Like with episode 202, a black box with the word censored was used to cover Muhammad. Nine Eleven was again the reason for this episode of The Amanda Show never being repeated, though it was arguably less reminiscent than some of the others. It aired once in March 2001 and focused on a family that had really bad luck, ending with their home being destroyed by an asteroid falling from space. It's still included in the DVD set and has been shown again in Canada since. This 1944 short film from Merry Melodies was taken off air due to racial stereotyping. It features Bugs Bunny fighting against the Imperial Japanese Army in the Pacific War and has been criticised for its portrayal of Japanese characters as caricatures. The title of the episode even included a term that is considered offensive towards Japanese people. There are numerous other Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies episodes that were withheld from syndication also due to racial stereotyping, known as the Censored Eleven, though this episode is not classed as one of them. Snuffy's Parents Get a Divorce was the title of a Sesame Street episode from 1992 that never aired because it didn't exactly go down well in test screenings. As you might have guessed, it centred around divorce, and although the intention was to teach children about it in a way that wouldn't traumatise them, exactly that happened. Most were confused, some came away thinking their parents arguing meant they would get divorced, and if they did, that they wouldn't love them anymore. There was a scene where one of the children starts hitting and kicking a teddy bear out of frustration because her parents are divorcing, and the kids who were at the screening apparently thought she stabbed it with a knife. An episode of Arthur was banned by Alabama's public TV network because it featured a gay wedding. Arthur's teacher, Mr. Ratburn, got married to a man, and APT decided to show a rerun instead because, quote, Although we strongly encourage parents to watch television with their children and talk about what they have learned afterwards, parents trust that their children can watch APT without their supervision. The worst part is, this wasn't decades ago or anything, this was literally in 2019. 
I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the right decision was made to ban all these episodes? And do you know of any others that were missed off this iceberg? If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. You can also check out my other iceberg videos in the playlist linked below. Huge thank you to my patrons, whose names are on screen now. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday in a new video.